off with the colors They kinda tell me what I'm thinking I fell in love with the way we are And the way we lose it There's something different about us And the reason why we stay don't know if Dana started the day yet, but we already have a unique little thing going on. I go to open the drawer this morning, and this happens. Right there, it just pulled away. It's not a big, you know, catastrophic thing. There's some little holes in there I can put some glue in, put it back together, and it'll stay. But hopefully the rest of the day doesn't go like that. Okay, it's a quick fix. But I just put some glue in there, some uh, wood glue. If you take everything apart, and then you take toothpicks and pound in there, and do the same thing with wood glue, it really makes for like a, a hard wood core that you then drill and screw back into. But I think this will hold, so we'll see. Um, because those screws, I don't think, they're not the same as regular screws, so trying to get them to screw back into like real wood without being pre-drilled the right way would be tough so but we will leave all this stuff here and do the rest of our day so we're at Costco and Abby came with us kind of fun so Abby picked out one of these sweatshirts they're on not on sale but they're $14.99 I always wonder if she'll like this kind of stuff but she doesn't come to Costco with us peep her right there she doesn't like to be on camera so I'm just letting her get a few things today because we weren't able to get extra stuff for her birthday. Okay, regular fruits, veggies. Um, we always get the Blue Ranch uh, Doritos when they have them because they hardly ever do. Then we have butter, lettuce, uh, Propel drinks. There's three things of blueberries. These will be gone in a few days. <laughs> then, oh, and eggs down there. We've got some of the cow cheese and crackers. Where's the crackers? Right there. Um, we stocked up on Gogurts. Ashley has taken a liking to the Gogurts again. It's been a while, probably like a year before she she kind of got burned out from it. But they're on rebate for four dollars a box, so we're stocking up on those for the freezer. Um, Celsius drinks for Abby, milk, bread, ravioli. I think that's it. And cream cheese down underneath there. All right, we're back from Costco. I'm trying to see if I can prop you up without having to hold the camera the whole time. I'm going to go upstairs and gather my computer supplies, my notebooks, my pens, Everything and all my happen. stuff that I've been using upstairs, and I think I'm ready to come downstairs. I'm sitting working on the computer versus like laying back against a whole bunch of pillows more often now. I'm not sitting on that couch to actually rest um, anymore. I'm just sitting there to watch TV um, and if I need to like truly rest I'm just getting straight into bed and like I'm getting in for a nap like yesterday I slept in till 11 and then took a nap at like 2 <laughs> so yesterday I obviously needed to rest I woke up at 6 a.m. after falling asleep at probably 2 30 or 3 and told myself turn off the alarm for church um, and if you wake up in time to get ready for church, go to church. That's fine. But if you don't wake up, then your body needs to rest and, and let that happen. I woke up at 11. <laughs> when I came down here, Jason was like, um, I just thought you keep sleeping. Uh, I figured we weren't going to church. So <laughs> anyway. So I'm gonna go gather my um, office supplies and bring them down to my, de my desk. Hey Jace, um, it is hot today, like 90 something degrees, which is fine. It would be great if we were actually going to the beach. I think it's actually even too hot to go to the beach today for my first time. I don't really wanna like push it like that. So I think we'll avoid the beach today. I do wanna try and go, but um, We'll have to see how it goes this week, but what are you trying to do? I need you to bring down my office chair from upstairs. Oh, office chair. Yeah, so I can start working down here. Uh. Thank you. He still needs to put the license plate on my car 
but it's too hot. So I just want to stand out there in the heat. I guess we could switch the cars around. Mine's outside. So anyway, I'm just prepping my blueberries. If you're wondering what I'm doing, putting blueberries into my vinegar water bath. The past two times I've got blueberries. The kids ate them so fast that they didn't get washed. Huh? I buy like three of these at, like every Monday. But a few days ago I bought two more when I was at Costco. So now we've had five, six, seven, eight things of blueberries. They love them. They're healthy. I'd rather buy a ton of blueberries than a ton of chocolate. So we're going to soak these guys. And then I'll go upstairs and gather my stuff. This one has friends coming over. Yeah. Right? Hey, can you put water in here for me? Perfect. Look at that teamwork. Um, Kaylee is still gone. She's in Lake Chelan. I'm not exactly sure when she's coming home. So I'll wait. One day. Tomorrow? Tomorrow? Okay. Wait, one day is it? But we are having to do her dishes, <laughs> which is kind of a bummer. Um, I like my kids doing all the chores. <laughs> I need to, that vinegar is help. I am feeling, like, just give you a, a tidbit of an update on my help. And um, also a thank you to all your comments about today's video. You'll know which one it is. Um, that was a hard day for me. Um, and it's good, obviously. But um, thank you for all your comments today. It has really like lifted my spirits. It's like almost, I wish that in the moments like that, that I could get, you know, like a quicker response. Um, and I guess maybe I should do that like on a, on a community post on the channel so that I can be like, hey guys, I'm having a really hard day. You know what I mean? Like, let's just chat kind of a thing. I should maybe do that more often. Reach out to you guys more in the moment like that because you guys are my friends. Like, we do connect um, and we do, you know, some of you just chat with me privately. Um, so maybe I'll do that more often. But thank you um, live in the moment as I'm reading those comments. I'm going to go and try and respond to those. But um, I really appreciate that. But in terms of my recovery so far, I am actually feeling really good. Um, as I've been driving around lately, I go out about once or twice a day. Uh, throughout this weekend, I actually haven't gone out very much. Um, yesterday, not at all. But I'm going to set you down because my hand is a little sore. My arms are a little tired. Okay. So in general, as I've been driving around and as I walk around like Costco today, um, one, I do hold my hands here in general just because the weight of holding your arms down to your side when you've done the surgery um the incisions right here they go clear back I'm trying to feel like where it is so i can like show you i don't even know if i can show you the actual spot maybe i can actually show you I'm trying to like feel right there there it is the incision goes clear back here right there can you see it Ash? yeah um yeah. and so it's right underneath like where my arm sits um and that pull of my arms downward rubs right and so then the weight of it and then the the grazing across um it just is uncomfortable and like the weight of it kind of is a little bit too much pressure so I do tend to like do this, but the, the pain and the discomfort from the incision lines and the scar tissue is like, like almost not there at all, which is like so good. Like no longer is it like, oh, that bump hurt. Like I get through with the drive and I'm like, oh, I didn't like, oh, that bump hurt. I didn't do that at all. Like not at all today going to Costco. So I, I feel like that's like a huge improvement. Um, Unfortunately, the scar, the incision has opened up even more on my right side. Um, I'm just still treating it the way I, the doctor told me to treat it. I might just email the uh, nurse today and just tell her, I get that you can't close this, 
Do I keep going with where I'm going? Um, I don't have an appointment. I think I have an appointment in a week or so. It's like a five or six, five to six week out appointment. And tomorrow is my four week out time frame. So I don't know that I would necessarily go in and my doctor is on vacation. <laughs> He's still in Spain. So I wouldn't even get to see my doctor if I went in and I don't know that they would be doing anything different. <gasps> Bless Jason. Um, so it's like I just want to keep doing the gauze change and the incision check. Um, but everything else, holy cow, Ashley. <laughs> she was flying on that thing. I, you know, that's the only spot that is a problem. All the other incisions are looking so, so good. The incision on this side is so, so good. Like all the way around and all the way up and all the way around. Like I'm even getting the scabs coming off. It is clean skin, and I've been using vitamin E on the scar tissue, um, and that's helping a lot. So, recovery, four week mark is pretty, pretty good. The only unfortunate thing about moving my office back downstairs is that I can't steal the AC. I mean, I still could steal the AC, but because, the, because it's so hot outside, I feel bad stealing the AC downstairs. But I'm also not gonna steal it from up here during the day this week. Someone found a cookie. <laughs> oh, an actual trail crumb evidence, Ashley. Um, so there's really no point to me being up here. It's a sauna in this room today. I'm gonna be way more comfortable downstairs. Um, I'm getting more stuff, office stuff type stuff that I need to do kids start school soon so I'm having to like get online and pay school fees and Ashley's um, class just I think well the school I think there was a glitch in the system it's kind of funny because like I think they accidentally released <laughs> the teacher names through clever and because I couldn't find it anywhere on her like the student access link in their portal I was like, it doesn't show your teacher name at all here. <laughs> and Ash was like, that's because you have to go into Clever. It shows who your Clever, your teacher is in Clever, which is just the software system that they started using um, when we were virtual. It's like the Clever Classroom. So it has the links to all the apps that they were using virtually. And so now they just have utilized that in general. <laughs> so it shows the teacher name. And I think they were <laughs> supposed to release that information because all of a sudden it closed back up about an hour or two hours after we logged in and checked out who her teacher was and because now it's not open so I think they accidentally let that let that escape but we are in like mode of you know trying to get the schedule and put everything just all the computer work involved okay see this is what I'm worried about I can't I can't feel I'm carrying this down the weight of it I, I need to get it up higher in order to carry it downstairs. Otherwise, I'm gonna have Jason carry it because I still I still am very cautious about carrying and lifting heavy weight. And literally, this is not heavy weight. It's just, for me, still on wanting to recover and I have an incision that's open, I do not want any pull, tug, push, nothing to make this incision worse. All right, I actually cleaned off the desk with some Clorox wipes. Got it all straightened up, put back together. Luckily I didn't like leave it a mess. And like this little one's corner or his corner. But technically I don't have a video to do until today's video. And Ashley has a whole bunch of friends here and they want to have a lemonade stand. Have you guys written your sign yet? Yeah. Right there, sign. But draw a lemon. Actually, go look in the sticker bag and see if there's a lemon sticker or a bunch of lemon stickers. That'd be cute. The problem is, do you have lemonade? No. No, you don't. Okay. Okay. We're going to go get you lemonade. You make that cute. Go find some stickers and you can add to it. No, they're in your bag of stickers. Thank you very much. You have, like, uh, like, what do you call them? 
water bottle stickers. Oh. Go see if you can find any lemon ones. Okay. I'm just a little bored. So I'm gonna go with Jason and we're gonna go get them some lemonade powder. Um, he'll have to help you. Dad will have to help you set up, Ash. I can't do the table and stuff. Yeah, but Dad will help you help get the table set up and stuff. You need to find a spot in the shade. We already know where. Okay, or maybe even like take my umbrella and go and scoot it into the sand, into the grass. freaking 98 degrees out here 95 down here you know it's hotter up to that. it's hotter up by where we're at like the northwest we're uh, we are yeah where it comes our house from. is doing really good with the ac we've got going on oh, yeah it's good inside and it's good for me to get outside but this is freaking bloody hot yeah this is ridiculous luckily it's only supposed to last a couple days there's no going to the beach I mean, in it's this it's like 50 some percent humidity. and honestly like I don't want Ashley and them coming out in this heat, even in the shade, it's going to be too hot for them. But they only have two hours before they have to go to cheer. Like all of them are in cheer. So they're actually probably not going to be able to like get out there and sell anything. But for now it's giving them something to do. <laughs> and lemonade to drink to keep them hydrated. So it is what it is. All right, we got lemonade and I found another pair of biker shorts for Ashley. They're in like limited supply these days because all the girls are wearing them. So I'm gonna order a few more pairs online for her. One, she has to wear these for cheer practice every day. And it's like what she wears all the time. So I'm just gonna get a bunch of these for back to school as well because she's just not gonna wear pants. So I might as well stock up on these. Okay. All right, we're gonna update you on our action date. <laughs> lots of excitement, lots it's of like excitement. We filmed since before we got the lemonade stand set up for the kids, he went and did it with them. To be I went fair. to do the lemonade stand with them. They did a great job. They made like 17 bucks in like 30 minutes or something. Yeah, they didn't do it for very long. It's so hot. Yeah. Um, but it was cute. All sorts of people in the neighborhood coming around, helping them out. Yeah. Um, and then we, I did some dishes and just like been watching shows. I did work out. You did? I did. A little, yeah, a little workout. This is the first time today that it's actually felt like manageable to be outside. Yeah. We're in the shade now, so it's a little better. Yeah, but and luckily not... Ashley's cheer is in the shade. They were they were so worried about the heat today for her practice that they told them not to wear their new cheer uniform like practice shirt. They don't breathe very well. It, yeah. But anyways, uh, we're going down to pick her up. Because we're just bored, so we're both going. What do you guys do when you're just at home and you're bored? Well, you guys, and I think we're I'm in a different- I'm curious. Yeah, I mean, bored what... is one thing. I actually, I want to actually go out for a walk. The heat this week is kind of nixing that because my doctor doesn't want me to like sweat. He doesn't want me to exert so much energy that I'm gonna start getting all sweaty and, and stuff. That's a really odd angle. I know, but dude, <laughs> holding it with one hand like this was like bouncing the car's heart. <laughs> um, so like had this week not been like projected like 90s to 100, I probably would have actually started walking and I might go in the morning. Be a little before it gets careful. Super you don't want to get it too sweaty and stuff. Yeah. So I'm gonna I'm gonna attempt it when it's not so hot, but so I have a little bit of a difference. It is a beautiful, beautiful evening. Maybe we can get a shot of the beautiful northwest yeah. Yeah. evening. You survived. What's on your leg? Is it just like a little rash. rag burn rash? You have a fun time? Yeah. Did the, sun, did the sun go down quick enough to cool it off like this? Kind of, yeah. Yeah? Okay. Glad you're okay. Did you drink all that Propel? You go home and like shower. Yeah. It's probably just itchy from grass or something. If you have a tan line, cool your head. Yeah. Easy, easy on our tiptoe. 